So last week, Donald Mustard announced that he was stepping down from being the chief creative officer at Epic Games. This obviously was a shock to a lot of us, if not all of us. He was always the man behind the curtain, but from time to time would step out to interact with the little people. Over the last year, it felt as if Donald's presence had been missed somewhat when it came to the storyline and the gameplay. Something just felt off, and now we have the reason why. For some time now, Donald has been preparing his leave from Epic Games, and I personally would like to give him a big thank you for everything that he's done. Even with as critical as I've been over some of his work, I still would like to give him the respect that he's due because he did a lot as the chief creative officer for my favorite video game that I have ever played. And he is a big reason why this game is so special and why I love it so much. But I think the question that a lot of people are asking themselves now and why you clicked on this video is why did Donald Mustard actually leave Fortnite? In Donald's own words, he framed it as wanting to spend more time with his family. And although I'm not going to disagree with that or say that that's not the case, I think there's a bit more to it than that. I think that there's something that everyone is missing here. And it ties into why things have felt so off for the last year when it comes to playing Fortnite as a game. When I watched Ninja's reaction to Donald leaving, he said something that was very interesting to me. Like I've met him, you know, countless of times. And dude, this guy, I, like you, as a, as a creative officer, you don't want anybody as passionate. Like he was so passionate about this game, bro. He was so excited about updates. Donald's passion for this game was unmatched by anyone. This video game was his creative outlet to tell a story that he's had in his mind probably since he was a child. There's this element of imagination and playfulness that exists within a child's mind that really gets lost as you become older for most people. But for Donald, I can see that he kept that when he was working out the Fortnite storyline and when he was coming up with some of these collaborations and live events. Donald got to live the ultimate nerd dream. He was able to have his favorite characters from different universes all appear within his own personal fan fiction that was carried out through a video game that he had the main creative control over. There's so many of us that would love to be in the same position as him because when we were kids, we did that very thing. I know that when I was a kid, we used to take lightsabers out and we'd all line up and pretend to be different characters. One person would be Goku, one person would be Optimus Prime, one person would be Samurai Jack, one person would be Luke Skywalker, and we'd all be having these awesome battles fighting off our greatest foes. Fortnite is literally the embodiment of that childlike imagination, that play factor of multiversal collaboration. Look, I know that if I was in charge of Epic, I would have been had a Transformers collab, and Optimus Prime, along with a few other characters, would have been in there working with Jonesy, fixing the zero point, defending it off from Decepticons and Megatron. I just did what, oh man. It just replaced the Galactus event with Unicron. That would have been me. Donald was literally sitting there orchestrating all these different characters within his story that he was telling. So, why would he give that up? Ironically, I think the same thing that he had so much fun with was the thing that eventually drove him to leaving Epic Games and Fortnite. When the Fortnite storyline was at its peak, that's when collaborations were just starting to get really crazy within the game. We started seeing a lot more of those than original skins. I do think that Donald always wanted to tie in his favorite stories into his own, but I think there was a point where it became too much. Now, why do I say that? Think back to this clip that Donald had right here. On issue number five, I drew who you guys know one of her names as the Singularity. Uh, this is a super, super important character. Uh, and I can't wait for you to see a bunch of the cool stuff that will be happening uh, with her over the next couple of years. Don't you find it odd that a character that was supposed to have so much significance to Donald's story was never reintroduced, never brought up again, just seemed to disappear off the face of the Fortnite storyline? Now, I fall into the camp that believes Singularity and Paradigm were supposed to be the same character. Narratively speaking, it just makes the most sense. However, Donald Mustard also did seem to have a lot of excitement for bringing Brie Larson into Fortnite. So could it be the case that Donald didn't intend for Singularity and Paradigm to be the same person, that it was always supposed to be Brie Larson? I don't think that to be the case, and it's for one main reason. Back when Singularity and Paradigm were first introduced, we weren't getting a lot of collabs in Fortnite, let alone a celebrity collab. This is way before The Rock was confirmed to be the foundation. Also, let me make this clear. I'm not saying that Donald Mustard stepped down because because Singularity couldn't be Paradigm. However, I do think that Epic stepped in and made some creative changes to his story that he was forced to go along with. When Epic realized how much money they could make off collabs and also how much pull they had in pop culture to get celebrities to be a part of their game, that changed their focus. It changed the way we looked at Fortnite and also the way we felt about it. And this is the one point that I don't think I've seen anybody bring up. As much as we love Fortnite and as much as we notice a change within the game, how do you think Mustard felt? This game was his baby. 
There is a clear shift in the tone and direction that the storyline was being told from Chapter 3, Season 3 onward. And it was all right around the time that the paradigm was confirmed to be Brie Larson. I do think that Donald Mustard wanted Brie Larson to be in Fortnite. And I do think that Singularity and Paradigm were supposed to be the same person. However, I don't think that Brie Larson was originally supposed to be the paradigm. This is how I think it went down. Epic stepped in and said, hey, we want more celebrities to fill the role of your main characters. Donald said, cool, that's totally fine. Yeah, actually, I was looking at Brie Larson. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But what we mean is we want their faces to be represented within your main characters. We want more female representation in the game. Do you think you could get Brie Larson to play the role of one of your main characters? At this point, the Imagine and the Order already had faces, so the only person that was left would have been Paradigm. And let me say this, I'm pretty sure that there were other changes that Epic made that forced Donald to change the course of where he was originally going to take the story. He tried to keep us on track for as long as he could, but when he saw that things were just becoming a bit too corporate or maybe a bit too commercial, I think he checked out. Just like a lot of us, did and like i said donald is as much of a fan of this game as we are but the difference is that he had a hand in building it it could be the case that donald didn't like how many collabs were entering the game which seemed to take the place or get in the way of the story that he was trying to tell you have to think that fortnite as a game has evolved just as much as it has as a business from all the way back in chapter one to where we are in chapter four now we're looking at two totally different games here and quite frankly after collision i think that mustard was just done i think that this is probably the best outcome with what's going on right now i think mustard is just tired and look i could totally be wrong about all of this none of this could have happened and he might just sincerely be tired of working for somebody right now i get it around this time last year i quit my job to be a full-time content creator that was the best job i ever had i was making the most money at that job my co-workers were amazing my boss was amazing however sometimes you just get burnt out and regardless of that reason donald was done and i think we should all respect his decision to move on but also be happy for him and be happy for epic games because hopefully the next person that comes in to take creative control will do just as good of a job as he did however they have really big shoes to fill donald mustard you will be missed and thank you for making the greatest game of all time for generations of gamers to enjoy we appreciate you man sincerely